Good morning. Am I recording? I am. Okay. I am trying this shot to see if it's um, just more helpful to see what's happening. And also because I'm still in my pajamas. So there's that. We're going to make some breakfast pizza. Okay, so I have this cute little tiny um, stoneware um, dish and I put a little bit of olive oil in it and I'm going to put just a little salt and pepper down in the bottom of the pan or pot or dish, what, whatever you'd like to call it. And I'm going to settle a piece of naan down in there. Okay, so we got that. I've grated some, um, can you read that? It's some Havarti cheese with dill. And of course, you know, we have to have a little bit of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on here, which will, I probably did, I'm, I can't believe I'm about to say I might've done too much cheese, but I might have done too much cheese. I was gonna do two of these until I realized how poorly they would reheat, so. Um, and then I also have some asparagus tips, some green onion, the white part, and green onion, the bottom part, some cilantro, and some roasted red peppers, and some breakfast sausage, which I browned along with a little bit of sage, because I always add sage to my sausage, because it makes sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep building this beauty. It's so customizable, right? You can put anything you want on it. Uh, and this is just what I wanted to do this morning, so it's what I did. Because who's gonna tell me not to? Right? So you put it on there. I'm trying to make it. Oh, I almost forgot the meat, y'all. Okay, next time be better than me. Put the meat on before all the vegetables. Watch. And because this is such a sweet little pan, it's or dish, it's not really a pan. It's gonna hold everything. Just cause I messed that all up, I'm gonna add a little more cheese, cause who cares? Do you care? I do not. And I'm gonna crack an egg. I have my oven heated to 400. And I am going to crack this egg right on top. And then I'm going to bake it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Break it carefully, because you want to try and keep the yolk intact. If I would have been better, my meat would have made a little well. Okay, let me, let me try to be the person I wish I were. There we go. You guys. I obviously don't care about getting egg all over my hand. Okay, I'm going to pop it in the oven and I will see you back in a few minutes. We're back, y'all. This smells so good. I do have to confess that I put it on for 11 minutes at 400. I was not ready to pull it out because the egg was not done enough for me. Um, so I turned it up to about four, I think 425 for another, and then just added three more minutes on the timer. So now I'm comfortable with the doneness of this egg. I could just serve it that way, but I'm gonna see how hard it is to get it out of this, I've never done this before, y'all. So I'm gonna see how hard it is to get out of this and onto there. If you were smarter than me, you would do, you would have done a flat stoneware, but, because 
really the whole goal is to not break the egg. So if I feel like that's gonna happen, I will abort this mission. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, there's a little piece stuck over here. Sugar, honey, iced tea. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. We don't wanna miss out on those little bits of sausage. I'm sure the dog would have welcomed it. Um, I'm going to put some, you know, you guys, I have some basil and I just felt like basil I didn't want to do so but you could do parsley you could do basil cilantro whatever and now my green bits of the onion and i have some fresh tomato from a friend of mine um this is her garden her garden loot so i'm going to put some of that on there and then, just a good bit of salt and pepper over the whole thing. 